Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, another uh, another episode um, of, of Quick Hits. Uh, we're going to rank the top uh, rank heavyweights. That is Richard Torres and big baby Jared Anderson. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, all proceeds go to autism research <clears throat> and recovery. All right, so I want to get into these two heavyweights here. I want to get into uh, both Jared Anderson and um, both Jared Anderson and, and Richard Torres. Both scored quick knockout today. Both looked impressive. Uh, I, I want to get into Torres because that was real quick. I mean, that was a that knockout was was, was tough to watch on the replay. Um, he he fought a Mexican heavyweight named Marco Antonio Canedo, um, who was four and two. Now he's four and three. Uh, he's been knocked out in his last two fights uh, by Gamal Del Rio and Alexis Barrera. Um, the second fight, that Bar- 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 Barrera fight, was in Canada. He was knocked out in five. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He, he did not get knocked out by Del Rio. He he lost a split decision and went the distance. Um, and then he got knocked out in the fifth, and then he got knocked out by the first uh, the first by Richard Torres. Um, you know, Torres is... Um, and that was a scary knockout. Is is Southpaw with big power now? He's three and zero now. Three knockouts. Um, second, you know, second round knockout, first round knockout, first round knockout. Um, <clears throat> to me, he looks over aggressive. He looks sloppy. I didn't like him as you know in the Olympic I, I, as an amateur. I didn't think he was you know great. I didn't think I definitely didn't think he was going to get as far as he did. Take a silver medal. Um, I, I, so he keeps surprising me. So I'm going to hold off on judgment. What I will say is, um, he's better than I initially thought. I still think he's sloppy. I th- still think he's going to get counted and get knocked out at some point. Um, but you know, he's, he's aggressive. He's got power. He comes forward. You know, there seems to be a little more, uh, strategy. There seems to be a little more skill behind it than I initially thought. You know, again, he keeps winning. You know, he keeps winning and he keeps looking impressive. Um, 6'2", 225, which is no longer big for a heavyweight. It's on the smaller side. Um, but he's, I mean, uh, let's keep seeing him take step forward, right? Because right now he's not really, you know, he's 3-0. And he's fighting guys you would fight when you're 2-0. Okay. Um, you know, that's fine. But I, I want to see him take bigger steps here. Uh, I want to see bigger fights, uh, more impressive fights. Um but like so far, he looks like he he can be a good heavyweight. You know, um, how far can he be a heavyweight champ? I don't know, uh, but he looks like he'll be a a, a contender uh, in the heavyweight division. He'll be in the heavyweight picture uh, for years to come. Um, he's twenty three, so he's not old or any, anything like that. Um, so let, let's get into the bigger story, Jarrett Big Baby Anderson. Um, Jarrett Big Baby, and I, I want to say one thing: if you're top rank right now, you are very happy with what you have, right? Um, you know, Keyshawn Davis. You have the entire Olympic boxing team, Tiger Johnson. You, you have um, Duke Reagan. You have this heavyweight in, in Richard Torres. And again, I think, you know, Mason Abdullah, another great prospect. Jahai Tucker, another really – you got good prospects. Um, and, and now you have um, Jarrett Big Baby Anderson, who is 12-0, 12 knockouts. And he looks good. I mean, he, he he's a throwback. Um, he, you know, he's this big heavy, but he moves. He, he's quick. He throws really good combinations. He can switch between the southpaw and, and conventional stances. Um, he's real patient. You know, he's got big power. And you think, you know, a guy of big power has uh, knocked everyone out, you know, <clears throat> every step of the way. He'd rush it, and, he, and, he, and he'd push for knockouts. Uh, but he's not doing that. He scores quick knockouts, and he does it in a patient fashion. His power is big. His skill is even bigger, right? He picks his shots really, really well. Um, 
he'll, he'll set up the right hand or if he's in the south post stance, he'll set up the left hand, he'll jab, he'll be patient, and he'll, he'll and he strikes like a cobra. Um I want to see him take a big step up. So, you know, his best win right now, I would say, was back last year. Um, also in uh, t- in Tulsa. This fight was in Tulsa. Against Jeremiah Carpensi. Um, Really, really good win. Second round knockout. And then after that, he, he fought uh, Vladimir Tereshkin. And then, you know, a couple of names, I think, were stepped back. But um, – this, uh, Kingsley Bay is the other good one he's got. Um, six round TKO. Uh, I think that's the longest he's been in a fight. Yeah, it definitely is. He's getting a lot of quick knockouts. Like I said, he's not pushing for knockouts. He's not pushing for knockouts. He, they just come with the skills. He sets everything up. The, the power is there, and he eventually gets the knockout. Um, so I I would say Jared Anderson is like a five star prospect. You know, this was like college sports. I'd say you know. Five star, he's a five star. I I would say Torres. It's tough because he, he you know he's silver medalist, great amateur career, and he's got three brutal knockouts. But I, I would say he's a three star. He could be good. He could be really good. I, I'd say Jared Anderson is the better prospect. Uh, but I, Torres keeps. Yeah, you know, I, I talked to Joe Guardia once about Maurice Hooker, and I said to him, um, um, you know, a Hooker's manager took him. I had DeGuardia look at him, and DeGuardia passed on him. Um, you know, DeGuardia said he didn't think it was any good. I, I went back to him years later after that Hooker won a world title. I said, you know, do you, do you wish you, you know, take Hooker now? You wish you could have Hooker now? He looked at me and said, Gary, I still don't think he's any good, right? Uh, and, like, I, I it, you know, like, it's just, like, that's how I kind of feel about Torres, but he keeps proving me wrong. Like, he keeps proving me wrong. So I, I really can't say that he's not that good anymore because he keeps winning and he keeps doing it in impressive fashion. Um, so I'd say he's a three-star, which is good. Like, if you, if you, if you check, like, we, we signed a three-star recruit, that's good. Jared Anderson is the truth, though, right? Jared Anderson is the next great American heavyweight. You know, he, he's a boxer. He's not a basketball player, not a football player. You know, he's a boxer. He's done this his whole life. He's got the skills. You know, he's not a, a, a just, he's not good for a heavyweight. He's not a good boxer for a heavyweight. He's good. Um, I, I don't know. The, the, the jab, I, I think he really shows his jab and it's long. I, that would be the one weakness I kind of noticed. Let me know what you guys think. You guys kind of seeing that too, where his jab, you know, it's stiff, but, it's it's it, you know you can see it coming and it's, and it's slow developing all right like you see him I, I, he shows his jab a lot I think uh, that's the one flaw I would see in him but you know picking up flaws in Jared Anderson is uh, a kid something to behold um, I, I want to see him take a big step up you know big big step up um, you know maybe fight one more time this year and take a little step up and then twenty twenty three we're, we're we're banging on all cylinders here like we're we're you know. There's no one in the heavyweight division outside of the top names that I, I think would be much of a threat to him, right? Like, I, I really, really don't. I think right now, if you put Jared Anderson in with kind of those top 20 guys, I think he decimates all of them. Like, I really do. Like, if you put him in with um, Hellenius, I think he beats Hellenius. George Arias, he beats George Arias, right? Trevor Bryan? You know, like those, if, it, if we're looking at those kind of names, you know, Charles Martin, does he beat Charles Martin? Um, Agit Caballal, does he beat those guys yet? Tony Yoka? Like, Otto Baleen? You know, I, I I don't know that he does. You know, he might beat all those guys right now, you know, next. But give him time. Let him, let him build up. Um, I'd say take one more fight. You know, maybe fight. Yeah, here's a name. Michael Polite Coffee. How about someone like that? There's a name, right? Like, get a name that people are, are uh, familiar with. Here's a here's a question. Better prospect, Jared Anderson or Bakadal Jalilov? Good question, right? I I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, but I, I want to see Anderson take a little step up in, in, at the end of this year, and then 2023 just be all in. All in on those big names. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Who do you think is the better prospect? What did you think of Richard Torres? And do you think Jerry Anderson is ready for the big time? 
thoughts, comments, uh, please leave them below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick uh, quick hits comes at you every day. 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Hit the bell, subscribe. Also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, please like, share, and subscribe. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is August 27th, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.